Podcast. Hey there, everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, Mago Tofu Podcast. This is Will. This is Daniel. This is Brian. And this is Duke. And uh, yeah, this is our post E3 and uh, post everything. Post everything uh, podcast. The last one was our mid season and pre E3 stuff. That was the beginning of May. It's currently the end of June. So it's been quite a while. We missed you. We know you didn't miss us. It's fine. <laughs> It's okay. This unrequited love. So, video games kind of a big deal. We're gonna start with stuff that happened at E3, and uh, I don't know what we think about it. What we uh, what we're looking forward to, because we can't focus too much on Nintendo. Let's start with Microsoft's. I, I don't know shitstorm of uh, life just right now. Horrible, horrible marketing. I mean, it's good on their part. Not saying that they're good people, but no. it's good on their part that they decided to uh, remove the. G- Remove the DRM, yeah, because there's no way that they would have been able to compete in the market with the system like that. Like I've heard, I've heard people say, "Oh, they're it's they're they're a good company. They're listening to the fans." No, they just realized that they were going to go under. Like I refuse to give them credit at all for that. That's that was a sink or swim moment. They had to do it. How was them backpedaling? Yeah, very hard. It's 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 going to save them. I don't know how it's going to affect the price. I, if they decide not to like you know fluctuate in price like add anything, they're gonna take an even bigger hit because now they have to go back and remove it. So that's a lot of like manufacturing costs. I think actually what they're doing with that is gonna be a software patch on day one. It's gonna be a patch. A patch, and they're not gonna do it for you. You'll have to apply it yourself on the first day. Mhm. Uh, it's still, like, it, it makes the it makes the Xbox One serviceable. Like we were talking about this earlier, how. Uh, if they were the same price, not going to be. If they were the same price, if they were both four hundred, right? If they were both four hundred dollars, which one would you buy? PS Four, Xbox One, and Daniel. I know you and I both said Xbox One, and that's mainly because of exclusives like Halo stuff. Duke, what was your answer to that question? Um, if like, if, there's, if they were the same price right now, would you rather get an Xbox One or PS Four? Oh, my answer for it. Yeah, what's your answer? Xbox One, definitely. Right, Brian. Uh, and imagine you live in a world where you buy game systems uh, that are not Nintendo. PS4, probably. I knew you'd okay. go for that. Why PS4, Brian? I don't know. I, RPGs. It's most likely to have JRPGs. Yeah, yeah. JRPGs. JRPGs. Yeah. Oh, Brian, remember, the Xbox One is uh, not region locked anymore, so maybe. Uh, I don't know. know. I'm just going off of history. Yeah. yeah. I feel it. Like, uh, I know we like it because we're all fans of, like, the three of us, not Brian. <laughs> fans of uh, <laughs> the Halo and like Gears of War franchises. We love the Halo. And we love the shoot. And stuff like the Square Enix stuff's no longer Sony exclusive. Like Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out on Xbox One. Yeah. So even though they left a bad taste in our mouths, I know, we're still Microsoft fans because of that. If they decided to do that, there's no way I would have bought Xbox One. I mean, I love Halo and stuff, but there's more important things to do. Yeah, it's not, game. It's, it's not worth it. <laughs> but yeah, it... it it definitely, even though I don't like them, it has definitely kept me in the Microsoft mood. Uh, on that note, I know you don't really have an answer, Brian, but what Xbox One proposed game are you uh, most looking forward to? Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, let me get out, there's a news article, I have a list of all the things that are supposed to come out. Man, that Forza, right? Yeah. Everyone loves Forza? So yeah, I'm just going to quick read down the list. Uh, just say yes if you're looking forward to it on Xbox One. Yes. All right. Yes. Daniel. Uh, no. Assassin's Creed Four Black Flag. Yeah. Oh, well, like that's still coming out for current. Yeah. Current gen. Okay. Uh, Battlefield Four. Below. Call of Duty Ghosts. The crew. <laughs> what? what? Brian. Right, I'm just. What's up? Oh, these are funny titles. Okay. Below. Brian, I don't want to hear this from a game racist. <laughs> I'm gonna explain that later. <laughs> All right. Crimson Dragon. D Four. Dead Rising Three. Destiny. The Division, Destiny. Dragon Age Inquisition, Dying Light, The Elder Scrolls Online, Fantasia Music Evolved, FIFA Soccer 14 mm-hmm. AG, Forza Motorsport 5, Halo, I think everyone besides, yeah. even Brian, you should look forward to that a little bit, we make you play it, Just Dance 2014, Killer oh, yeah. Instinct, Connect Sports Rivals, Loco Cycle, Madden 25, Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, Minecraft, Mirror's Edge 2, NBA 2K14, NBA Live 14, Need for Speed Rivals, Peggle 2. What the hell was Peggle 1? Peggle! <laughs> Peggle! 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 Yeah. Peggle! See the guy do the 
I don't care about that though. <laughs> no. You didn't see the guy announce it at E3? <laughs> I don't he, care. he did like a fist bump in the air and like, okay. Yeah, yeah I wasn't that excited. Smash. He just smashed. Plants vs. Yeah, yeah. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Oh my god. Project Spark. Quantum Break. Rabbids Invasion. Rise. That looks pretty interesting. Skylanders Swap Force. Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, Sunset Overdrive. Thief. Titanfall. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are excited for Titanfall. Trials Fusion. UFC. Watch Dogs. The Witcher 3. Wild Hunt. Wolfenstein. The New Order. Zoo Tycoon. Everyone sure loves that. Yeah. Uh, Zumba Fitness. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry, people. <laughs> Fitness World Party. The, the problem with that is not only are a majority of these games not exclusive, but a lot of them are also coming out on the current generation. And even then, not a lot of them sound like system sellers. And the ones that do, like Halo, aren't coming out till next year. Yeah, like they don't. They're, so, they don't have any firm, you know. So even stats. though that's a long list, the the problem is once again, launch titles kind of suck. It's usually the case with any, especially with Nintendo. Recent, I remember back in the day when games actually came out for systems. Real games. I don't. Real games. I don't know. We just imagine, remember? Mm. Brawl came out with re- the release of the Wii U. I mean, I mean, system sellers coming out when your system comes out. That's the reason, I'm sorry, with the Wii. When the Wii came out, Sprawl was out. That's why you bought it. We went to Eric's house to play that all the time. I remember, like, you guys remember the side, the dojo side? I, I like, follow, or I checked it every day to set, see if they have a new character. On the minute it changed, I would check that shit. Yeah, I know. I would just, like, jump on it every day. Page. And watch GameFAQ's message board explode. Yeah, like, when I saw Olimar, I was like, oh, my God. Exactly, like... I don't, I don't know what, what's up with people thinking, here's your system, I don't know what you're going to play on it. Watch TV. Yeah, dude, <laughs> remember how, how hard they push, like, you know, TV interaction with Xbox One? Like, you know, you can make your fantasy football team and keep track. You can use Twitter. You can use Twitter on your Xbox One. Oh, my watch God. Watch TV. You'd be like, oh, this is what happened on, uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm watching Game of Thrones. The price was right. <laughs> I'm that was weird. Also, like the par- the partnership with the NFL. I know the NFL is big time, but come on, I don't know. It's I just not, I don't. It's not a system seller. That's not the functionality I need in a game system. You know what I mean? I think Pickle Two will be the killer app. That'll be the the one that sells the most systems for the Xbox One. Uh no, I think it's that either going to be Forza or you know Minecraft. Right you really haven't seen this? The guy who like smashed the ground. I didn't, I, mean, I, I didn't really think Pebble 1 was that big of a deal, so... <laughs> you just, you wasted 11 seconds of my life, Daniel. You, no. you feel proud of that? It's a little spin. <laughs> yeah, he was very enthusiastic. Another system that has promised games. I don't like that. I, I didn't buy the 3DS when it first came out. My mom did. But my mom's a little obsessed with She's Nintendo. also going to buy the PS4 when it comes out. Yeah, she's, she's kind of weird like that. What's coming out at the release, like, at launch for PS4? Good question. I think they have a list up, but uh, we're, we're pretty sure Metal Gear Solid, uh, Metal Gear, ah, Metal Gear Solid Five is gonna come out uh, day one. That's that's a good release. Uh, I really don't know. Anything that the Xbox doesn't have? Yeah, anything exclusive at launch? Uh, exclusives? I don't know. That's the weird thing with exclusives these days. It's there are none. Yeah, Nintendo. I mean, don't they have like Infamous and Killzone? Okay, because Xbox supposed. Right. On this list, supposed launch exclusives. Forza Motorsport 5. Yay. Uh, uh, I found a list of exclusives. Rise, Sunset Overdrive, and that's it. Destiny. And those are. I have, a, I have a different list for PS4 exclusive games. Is Destiny a exclusive at launch? launch? That's all I want to know. At launch. Okay, I don't know if these are coming out at launch, but the PS4 exclusives that have been announced so far are Deep Down, Drive Club, Infamous Second Son, yep. Killzone Shadowfall, mm-hmm. Knack. Octodad, which I guess is what the heck is related that? to Octomom? I don't know. And The Order 1886. Oh wait, guys, so Destiny coming out on both systems, right? Just make sure. Yeah, it's also coming out on 360 and PS3. Oh, yeah, right. It's right. also coming out for current gen. Yeah, it's just, it's not exciting. I, I don't I don't see a reason to jump out and get one. Yeah. I mean, when it announced, like, Discot 5, maybe. Persona 5. Persona 5. Persona 5. I mean, a lot of 5s. I mean, I, I expect both systems to sell better than the Wii U at launch. The Wii U at launch... 
So I don't know. It's because there was shortage. Or, oh, Wii U, never mind. Yeah, with the Wii, Wii U. U. Brian, yeah. there was no shortage on Wii U. Yeah, there was not. I could, like, walk up there and buy one. Yeah, people, if I had people just money. walked into the Best Buy and just, there's, like, stacks of it. And they're like, hey, there's a system. You want to buy it now? You didn't need to pre order it. It wasn't, it wasn't the Wii where you had to track it down for a couple months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember it took me, like, that's why I never got into the, the Wii stuff. Not only could you never find the systems, but a lot of times with the major things, like when the Mario games would come out, you couldn't find the games because they didn't bring over a lot. And I mean, I guess they're trying to cover their cover themselves by saying, we don't know if we're going to sell that much, but there was demand. People, I don't know. It was kind of frustrating. Home. You find them on eBay for like $600. I think we had to wait like three months to get a Wii because we just couldn't find mm -hmm. one. Then one day, my dad saw one at Target. He called my mom and asked if she, she wanted to buy it. And then, yeah, got it right mm -hmm. then and there. <clears throat> yeah, I waited like four years. <laughs> I got mine at Best Buy. Just kept calling. And eventually, they had like two. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Did, did GameStop reinstate pre-orders for Xbox One? I'm not sure. I know they stopped for a while. Yeah. Uh, they stopped right before they did that thing about canceling the used games and stuff. They might be taking them again. Because the PS4, like, obviously, no, no stop there. And the Wii U, they recalled the base sets. So, uh, I think they're going to only be giving out pro sets in the near future, and they're going to start some new bundles coming up. Because mm -hmm. that, that only makes sense if you're recalling base sets. Next-gen consoles, I don't know, they're not looking too hard. I'm not, I'm not really excited, to be honest. Yeah, like the only thing I'm really looking forward to is Smash Bros, but that's coming out on 3DS, so... Yeah. I mean, we... Alright, we're a little Nintendo biased, but the only... A little bit. The only, like, recent mm. future-gen type system that's doing well right now is 3DS looking pretty good. Man, how about that Vita, huh? I don't what? need... What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, the $250... Even didn't even game. really help the Vita. People were expecting, like, something, like... Maybe some big game announcements or something to help it out. They had some like indie games or something announced for the Vita. Because yeah, that's going to yeah. sell a system. Indie games. Uh, no. But nothing like big or major. No. Yeah, indie games aren't going to be what saves the PS Vita. As much as I like indie games, it's not enough. Yeah. It's going to entertain you for like, what, a few days? A few hours. A few hours. A few minutes. Yeah. While it downloads. Yeah. While it downloads. Yes. It's... I, I hate sounding so biased, but the 3DS is just the only good thing right now. Yep. A lot of people have it, and for good reason. A lot of people we know have it. Dude. I think uh, I was talking to Schwanka and Vaughn. I think more people in our circle of friends have it than don't have it right now. Yeah. So, that's a big deal. And I think at least half of us have a weird special edition one. <laughs> Not saying weird in a bad way, but like... But I mean, yeah. we've all got some kind of special edition. Mm -hmm. I mean, some, some of us have the Fire Emblem. Mike was trying to track down the Pikachu one. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck, it's, Mike. It's impossible. He already has the fire. You had, you had to pre-order it. What does he need the other one for? Because it's Pikachu. Pikachu. Is, yeah. that, is that the one for displaying and the other one's for... No, he, he was going to like sell his other one. <laughs> really? Yeah. He's going to sell the fire emblem one? Do we he had it? planned on it, but it didn't work out that way. Oh, like $20. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's was going for me, big. Treat him to McDonald's. Yeah, How many... How many, many uh, how many how chicken many, nuggets? How many McDoubles will it take you to uh, give me? How many uh, sweet teas? Ten. All right, Toby. We we got we've been pretty critical. What what are games you're looking forward to? Because there were a few games announced at E3 for the next gen. Yeah, next gen. Um, I'll include things coming out for Vita and 3DS. Mirror's Edge Two. I'm one of the few people who actually really like that game. Hey, dude, Winston loves that game. He's not here. A lot of people. A lot of people liked it. But you're the only, really the only one in our group that likes it. In our it. group, yeah. Okay. It's still popular. Mm -hmm. It is popular. Just we, we weren't fans. I'm really excited yeah. for the upcoming one. Other than Daniel, that was none of us are really... most looking forward to. For that. that was now C3? Well, one of the things. Because I'm most looking forward to. Most. It's still one of the things I'm looking forward to. I said most, Daniel. Okay. Is, well, that, is that the most? I'm not saying it's a bad choice. I'm um, saying is that the one I don't know. It's kind of hard for me to pick. Might be Metal Gear Solid 5, though. Metal Gear Solid 5. Mm -hmm. Brian. Super Smash Brothers. Duke. Same thing. When I saw Mega Man, I exploded. Is that three Super Smash Brothers? That's yes. three Super Smash yeah. Brothers. I have to be the one to break the cycle. Actually, okay. you didn't break... Well, I mean, Brian started the cycle. So, I don't know. So, we got one Metal Gear Solid and three Super Smash Brothers. Come on. When you saw, when you saw Mega Man, you can't tell right, me How about like non-Nintendo? Okay, non -Nintendo. Favorite non-Nintendo thing? <laughs> well, nothing. Brian's a racist. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Brian's... Brian, just say Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. That's not Nintendo. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, if it's not Nintendo, I want to say Kingdom. I don't know if I want to say Kingdom Hearts 3. I mean, we didn't see too much of it, remember that? Yeah. Like, well, whatever we saw of it, it looked the same as all the other ones, to be honest. I don't know. Is that a bad thing? It's not a bad thing, but, you know. Um, I thought we see more. I... I would say... I'm, look, I'm looking forward to Call of Duty Ghosts, and this is why. I like Call the of Duty... The dogs. Well, not the dogs. I, what a great time to be able <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the fact that we're actually getting a story with Call of Duty this time, which is something that has been lacking for a while. I mean, people didn't I even mean, play the story. Black uh, Ops, there was a story. story. There's a story. Black Ops kind of had a storyline. Yeah, but because I really like Call of Duty multiplayer and the game mechanics. So the fact that there's a legitimate story coming out excites me. The dog's going to die, Will. And I like the problem. <laughs> we all know the dog's going to die. That's just given. All right. Not intended to be the way I play. I'm looking forward to you. Uh, I'm just going to say Halo for this, you know. Okay. Halo's good. Daniel. Game. Since you didn't say it, what Nintendo thing are you most looking forward to? Pikmin, obviously. Hmm. Uh, Bayonetta 2. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. There is Bayonetta 2. Are you really I, into Bayonetta? Well, I really like the first game, so... The gameplay for... If I'm not going to say Brawl I'll, or Super Smash Bros, I'll say Bayonetta. Alright. Nice. You could have said Smash Bros. I could have, yeah. I could have. Nothing stopping you. Nothing. Oh, uh... Back because those those are all like next gen stuff. Anything still coming out for current systems that you look forward to? Watchdog. Watch right, Watchdogs. <laughs> Duke. Oh yeah. Sorry. Anything coming out for current systems you're looking forward to? Because oh. we're on the tail end of the generation, but a lot of stuff still coming out. And these are the kinds of things people might aside from Watchdogs. Uh, these could be things that people might not know was coming out to in America. Anything? I don't know. There's this one game on the PSP I like called God's Eater. They have a second one coming out. For the PSP? Yeah. For here? Yeah. Uh, well, not for, well, it's probably going to come here since it made so much money compared to other PSP games, but not confirmed yet. It better. August, Project Diva F comes out. Oh, man. I, I have that pre-ordered at GameStop. But you already have it. Oh. That, that's not F. Oh, yeah, it's not F. You're right. No. That's Extend. Extend, yeah, you're right. I'm looking yeah. forward to the new Fiends right. That's 3DS. I actually have a lot of stuff on pre-order. I have that Time of Eternity is coming out next month. I'm getting that on PS3. Anything you look forward to, Brian? For current gen? Yes. No. <laughs> I mean, the, so 3DS doesn't count as current gen, right? Yeah. No. I, I included it in the last list, so let's say no. Okay. Man, because the Wii is pretty much done. Yeah. The Wii, the no. Wii was supposedly done, like, in January. Like two years ago. Two years. Yeah. <laughs> it was done when Brawl came out. Tell <laughs> <laughs> you Fine. Need. Come on, Brian, you're not excited to play, like, Project DMF when I get it? Maybe. <laughs> Did you play it on the PSP? Not yet. Okay. Keep trying to get him to do it, but he doesn't want to. Oh, is that really all? Oh, wait, 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 I what? forgot. Uh, Killer is Dead. That's me. Oh, oh, yeah, that's coming yeah, out on right? PSP. When is that coming out? Uh, according to this, August 27th. Ooh. Oh, that's, uh, let's see. Because you know, Hatsune Miku either comes out 28th or 26th. You, know, you, got, you gotta love that Suda type of game. You know, like yeah. No More Heroes, Killer 7. Yeah, uh, what really else? Uh, that freaking that cheerleader one. Lollipop uh, Chainsaw. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever played Shadows of the Damned? Huh? I have not. Lollipop Chainsaw is like $15 new at yeah. GameStop. I mean, yeah. the thing is, like, I played it at Brian Castro's place. It's yeah. pretty fun, but it's like arcadey kind of. It's like really simple. That's not a bad thing, though. It's not. If like, it's only a $15 game right now. It's like, you know, a hack and slash. The same thing like with like what Brian said a while back. Beat them up so they get boring, right? Yeah. Yeah, they eat one uh, game. Yes. Hey, I love Dynasty Warriors. Don't say that. Dynasty Warriors 8 is coming out. Oh, yeah. They're, they're still games. making those? Yeah. Daniel, they will never stop making Dynasty Warriors. So, Will, about that uh, Gundam Dynasty Warriors, huh? I'm never letting you borrow it. Damn it. Because I keep forgetting to bring it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know XC was the one that was bringing over a killer is dead. Yeah. yeah XC brings... Dude. If it's not XC, I don't know who's going to bring over the that shit. Yeah, true. It flew right over my head. I don't know. Is that really all we have to say about E3? We, we don't have a lot to say about video games, do we? It's because we're not talking about Nintendo. <laughs> I, 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 fine, let's talk more about Nintendo, Brian. Which is all the game we're most looking forward to? From uh, Nintendo. One for 3DS. It looks interesting. Shallow between... They changed the name again. You're supposed to be a link to the past two, and what is it now? Shadow between yeah, Shadow two between worlds. worlds. Is that it? It's something really long. Yeah. A link between worlds. Okay. Yeah, a link between worlds. I, I like link. I like link to the past two more. That's like simple, but it's not supposed to be a really yeah, direct uh, sequel. It's not yeah. direct. It's even not, though it's like right, spiritual, right? Even though it's a remake, I'm looking forward to Wind Waker HD because number one, I want stuff to play on Wii U, and number two, that was the first Zelda game I ever beat. 
So it's gonna have a lot of nostalgia factor. By the way, Will, did you get Spirit Tracks yet? No, I need to buy that. God, did you check the Gang Stop down here in Berkeley? Mm, I, I don't remember. I probably have. I they have it at our Game Stop. Oh, so hey, well, dude. I'll get it eventually. Yeah, it says a link to the, a link between worlds is supposed to take place a generation after a link to the past. So it's not a direct sequel per se, featuring it's the like, same characters. Yeah, it's spiritual. Would, would you say it's spiritual then in a sense? It's not really spiritual. It's, it's not spiritual because it's the same timeline. Yeah, but it uses like the same engine as Link to the Past. It also yeah. has the Dark World. I think it's just better just call it a straight up sequel, even though it's not direct. I, I guess it's, it's just sequel. not the it's same sequel. exact uh, link. Yeah. Well, I mean, does it need to be the same thing to be considered a sequel? It's, yeah, never it's not a direct sequel, sequel, it's not a spiritual sequel. Yeah, yeah. So the only sequels are Majora's Mask and Phantom Hourglass. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's true. It's and, true. oh, actually, about it might be Link, Link's Link. Awakening. Also. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's like yeah. a side thing. It's a sequel to, I forget which game. It might be the first game, yeah. It depends on that Zelda timeline. I think they finally got settled out. I never out, even looked at the official timeline. Yeah, like, they got it settled out, but I didn't really It looks pretty it. weird when you think of where the games came out. Because it, no. it splits off a lot. Yeah. But, I mean, it makes sense that at least they put, um, you know, Skyward Sword all the way there. Because, I mean, yeah. Link's Awakening takes place after A Link to the Past. So, I guess it could take place after uh, A Link to the, whatever it's called, the new one. Link of, uh, Link's Awakening but two, or I Link's, think Link's Awakening Link's Link is supposed to be the same Link as the prior one. Oh, well, that's confusing. Yeah. Because he's on a boat after his journey and he's he on, gets, a boat. on a boat. He gets washed down in the storm. Yeah. Well, let's not to debate the timeline. Yeah, we'll, 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 the ones we'll for see. sure are Majora's Mask and Phantom Hourglass. Yeah. 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 Have you guys, wait, have you guys tried Majora's Mask by the way? Yes. Yeah. Well, I never beat it. Yeah, but beat. Not, uh, mm, I was too scared when I was little. I had to the play. Freaks me out. I had to play in middle school because that that mood in the mask. Oh yeah, the ma that's probably the darkest uh, Zelda game. Uh, Maybe I next to Twilight Princess. Too. Twilight Princess is probably the most literally dark. Yeah. I mean, dude, they die. The, the the creatures die, and you take their base. Uh, Come on, dude. The only reason that uh, Wind Waker is the first one I beat because I didn't have a video game attention span long enough to play a Zelda game until middle school. Yeah. Yeah. It just wasn't there. Middle school where is that? Uh, it's where all. I barely have it now. There's too much stuff out there. I, I can't sit down long enough to play certain games. Yeah. I stay up till 5 playing Donkey Rope. Yeah, you're uh, weird. You're I'm not. playing League. Yeah, you're playing League a lot, Will. Hey. Hey. It's, it's a fun game. It's it's way more popular than most stuff we talk about. It's true. Most uh, popular game in the world right now. Alright, but I have no one to talk about with right now, so uh, moving back on to uh, Nintendo. Yeah, how about that League? <laughs> I still can't. I don't know. What? Like, I started playing again, like, last week. And I, I, yeah, I don't think playing a Twisted Fate is a good idea since I'm still new. Yeah, but he's pro. I don't know. Yeah, he's pro. Yeah, let's stop talking about it. Yeah, let's yeah, turn into a league podcast. Yeah, so. It's a league podcast, then you talk to, like, Vaughn and the guys. I need to step out of this room. Um, back on Nintendo. Do you think they're going to add more new characters besides Villager, Wii Fit, Yo Girl, and uh, Mega Man? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Wait. Who do you who do you want to be in the game? Let's see that. <laughs> of course. You besides Lucina. Um, in Golden Sun, you played it well. Yeah. I want Isaac to make character. He was a fucking. Sorry. He was a trophy last time. Mm -hmm. And uh, he wasn't a character, and I was disappointed. Okay. I think we should have Slippy. What? We should Slippy the Toad. Slippy. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh Slippy! Yeah. yeah do Dude, a roll. what kind of Nintendo fan no, are you? No, no, because I didn't... Slippy! I, no, no, I didn't say who's Slippy. I said, what'd you say? He said, I didn't hear you. Go to the tape. Yeah, yeah we need to replay that song here. Let's just, just take out Wolf. Okay, guys, guys. I, hey, Wolf is a good character. Wait, wait, guys, guys. Fox and Falco are better. Guys, there's two things I want to talk about in, uh, in Smash Bros. First off, um, so the creator, we all know who he is, you know. He said that he did... He didn't pick characters based on gimmicks, and he want each character to be unique. I told Brian this like yesterday, and then he instantly lifted, listed off Fox, Falco, and Wolf. How do you guys feel about that? I think that Wolf is different. I think Wolf's different enough, but Falco and Fox are pretty similar. And also for the gimmicks, I just want to say Wii Fit Trainer. Just throw it out there. Best character. And even Villager and Mega Man, they, they have gimmicks. They're really gimmicky. Them. All characters are gimmicky. They have their own. That's what makes them unique. So yeah. I don't know why you said that. Okay. And secondly, um, here's a hypothetical situation. I want to know if they took out your favorite character from Brawl, how would you react? They probably will. They're gonna take out Game and Watch. Uh, no, but right. I but you're Zyke. Yeah. yeah. 
That, that's highly possible. If they replace it with Lucina, then I don't care. <laughs> you, you, you really like win. Lucina. I don't, I don't think they would take out Game Watch, but if they did, I would be highly upset. <laughs> yeah, Game Watch is too unique. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the, my, my three favorite characters in that game aren't leaving. It's, it's Donkey Kong, Game & Watch, and uh, Pikachu. Yeah. Those guys aren't leaving. We saw Donkey Kong and Pikachu, <laughs> and I can't imagine Game Watch being gone. Take out Mario. Sure. Yeah, of course. It should. All right. Well, Duke, your favorite character, do you think he's staying? Um, Almar? No. You think Almar's leaving? I think he's leaving. Well, hopefully they'll put in a new captain from Pikmin 3. One of the four or something. I, I could see that to promote the game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or yeah. actually, the game's coming up before. Yeah, before. so, yeah, they probably can do it. Daniel, who's your favorite character? I use Samus a lot. Okay, uh, yeah. Right, they're not leaving. Yeah, she's not leaving. No, wait, 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 wait. What if they took out Zero Suit? Because I know how you like using Did, Wasn't that in the video? No, I don't even remember. No. No, it wasn't. Uh, I don't think it'd be upset if they took out Zero Suit, to be honest. They had Ridley? Rid- no, Ridley's too big. Yeah. Ridley's gonna take the entire stage. R- Ridley's gonna kill. Alright, um, right, What's a character you want to see gone? Gone? Mario. It's Wolf. Wolf. You. you want Wolf gone? Um, uh, hmm, let me Snake. You- why do you want Snake gone? What's wrong with Snake? God, it's- it's a I'm just asking, I know what- it's, it's a person. Mario thing. sucks in the game. Why do you want Wolf gone again? Yeah, like, there's better- there's- Better spent room elsewhere. Better spent room. You don't want snake, snake because I mean I don't see him fitting anymore because then Nintendo's not doing anything else with Metal Gear right now, right? Mm. So I don't see I don't I don't see him returning. Well, they had Metal Gear Solid Three for the 3DS. That's true, but then just... like no one really talks about that really. <laughs> I don't know why. Like that game was like 15 bucks that they used games for down there. Maybe I should buy it and see what's up. I want Toon Link gone, because I don't think we need two Links. Although, with all the Zelda stuff coming out, I wouldn't be surprised if they kept them around. What do you or, guys... like, version Toon Link. They might what have, they... like, the the Link Between Worlds Link for, like, 3DS version yeah. or something. What are, they, what are they gonna do with Zelda? Like, I wonder. What do you mean Zelda? Like, are they gonna keep Zelda in as a character? They're, all, they're probably have some kind of incarnation of Ganondorf, like, maybe from the new game. But what about Zelda? Do you think that would include an incarnation of her? I don't. I don't see them getting rid of Zelda. But it's weird that they keep including Sheik when she was only in one game. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. So how do you guys feel if, like they totally revamped like some of the characters you use, like completely change their style, like their fighting style? Or? Yeah. Like Game Watch gave them a whole bunch of totally new gimmicks. I'd be upset because I've I've grown accustomed to what we have. It'd be Plus, yeah. In the in like fighting games in general, they don't really do that because yeah. I couldn't see them doing yeah, that. It's like Game Watch has new games coming out to change his moves. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you have to relearn everything. Yeah. Like, I could see them changing up stuff for, say, a Donkey Kong or something because they have new games. And Luigi needs to have the vacuum. The vacuum. The they, yeah, they, they, gave, the they, gave Mario, they gave Mario a flood in Brawl, so come on. A lot of people in the forums really hate that he still has a flood or, or, you know, the flood pack. I like the flood pack. Yeah, that's cool. You know, you know how good, like, the water push is in that game with Squirtle and Flood? He needs the spinny thingy mm-hmm. the, when you shake the Wiimote for yeah. Galaxy. <gasps> the cat powers. <laughs> oh, man. I'll probably add that for the 3DS version. Maybe, maybe. Oh, yeah. So, are you more excited for the 3DS version or the Wii U version? Well, I only have a 3DS. So. Brian, we're going to play it on my Wii U, so have that yeah. part out of your mind. What are you more excited for? What do you, would you rather... Pl- Alright, fine. Would you rather play it on... Because I know you're buying on 3DS. You're probably buying on 3DS. I'm going to get a Wii U for 2 I'm games. buying it on both. That's so, what I to do. So, would... Do you... All right, change the question. How do you think it's going to translate to the handheld? Um, I don't know. If you ever played, like, Jump Ultimate Stars, it'll probably be like that. Okay. Which was awkward to play on the DS because the way the shoulder buttons handle and stuff. Mm. So I don't know. But it's like that. It's like a 2D, multiple, vertical plane type thing. So... The thing I'm really hoping for is that they'll let you use the D-pad and the analog stick because I don't want to destroy the analog stick on my limited edition 3DS. That would suck. Yeah. That would suck. Yeah, but Daniel? Yes? This question. You're oh, the same question? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I haven't really... I've only played, like, what, Dead or Alive? Like, that's the only funny game I've ever tried mm-hmm. on the 3DS. And it's okay. Um, I don't know. We haven't really seen much of the 3DS version, so I don't know what to comment on. But, uh, considering it's Nintendo, I guess they'll find a way to incorporate the... I don't know what I'm talking about. 
And since there's no uh, cross, <laughs> so they kind of killed the whole crossplay thing, right? Yeah. How would you guys feel if the 3DS offered unique characters along with the unique stages? They said they're not going to do that. They're not going to do they that. They said same stages. character rosters for both. Oh, yeah. but what? different stages. Yeah, the stages are going to be different. Oh, because then I, like all I read was like same uh, number on roster, but I didn't know if the same. No, roster. same same characters but different stages. And then um, I read something weird on Silicon Road the other day. Like apparently with 3DS, it'll help you customize characters in the Wii somehow. Yeah, you can transfer like characters to the Wii U version somehow, yeah. but not the other way around. Uh, wait, well, what do they mean by like transfer characters? I think you can create. I don't know. Maybe you, you can like, modify character. them. Maybe I'm guessing. Yeah, maybe I don't know stickers. <laughs> but put stickers on your character. What? What I'm concerned about is play style on the Wii U. I would consider. I'm more concerned about that than the 3DS because of the whole controller situation. No C stick. No C stick. Well, who cares? <laughs> All right, Brian, you shut your mouth. <laughs> C stick is important. It's very important. All right, because uh, the controller options are you have a uh, Wii mote. You know, Wii mote nunchuck thing. You have the gamepad crazy wide thing. The third party developer is trying to get an adapter for the GameCube controller. I don't think I'll go that route. But there's two good controllers. Technically, I haven't played with them yet. Good controllers out for the. Uh, Wii U. That's the Pro Controller from Nintendo. Let's use that. Oh, and like there's this there's this Nyko controller with a layout that's more like a 360, where you have uh, left thumbstick up, right thumbstick down. I'm not sure which one I'm going to buy first, but I'm going to buy one of them and try it out. If they handle weird, I don't know how I'm going to feel playing like the new Super Smash Brothers with like a Wii mode or something. That's going to be weird to me. Well, I'm, too, I'm too accustomed to using a GameCube controller. You know, in high school, I tried challenging myself, and also because I used to use C stick a lot, so I used the Wii Mode and the Nunchuck. Yeah, but with the Wii Mode and Nunchuck, it's not that much different. Yeah, it's uh, not too bad. The only thing is like grabbing. Like you can either use A and B or use a direction pad. I use the D pad. See, even I know you're gonna think I'm crazy, but I don't need C stick. It's just the feel of the GameCube controller is much more natural. Than so, well, after we're done with this, we're gonna play Brawl, and you're gonna use a Wii Mode and Nunchuck. Is that cool? Alright, but I'm not using like I The only thing I don't like, oh I love using Ike with that, but anyway, <laughs> well, I don't use like anything, but the only thing is that I, you, can, you can only really jump with like the analog stick and all like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm accustomed to doing that. Like, You don't use the C button? Oh? Well, you use C button to do it. And I don't use that. No. I mean, I get, it, it is awkward because I, I like using my thumb to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is awkward compared to the GameCube, but you know. Gotta change. I was thinking the C for like N64, which you did use to jump. Yeah. Uh, I, th- I think that's what they were going for with that. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's awkward to me. I'll get used to it because even if I don't like the Pro Controller and stuff, it's not going to stop me from buying the game and I'm going to play it. So I will get used to it. It's just going to be very weird because I haven't not used a GameCube controller since the GameCube came out for stuff like this. It's, it's destroying something I've been used to for, what, almost a decade? Yeah. Yeah. Almost. So, yeah. It's pretty ingrained. Yeah, the N64 controller pretty much played out the same. Yeah. Man, the N64 controller is really interesting. <laughs> and they said that wouldn't work. Dude, it, it looked didn't like... didn't really. <laughs> no. It looked like an anchor. Like a grappling hook. Like a grappling hook, an anchor, something. Things that uh, aren't Smash Brothers related, coming out for Nintendo. The cat powers. Well, Pikmin, of course. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Rune yeah. Factory 4. Rune Factory 4 got pushed back. It did? Yeah, it's coming out in August now instead of July. Bummer. Well, I mean, I like Rune Factory, but the thing is, the Bachelor and Bachelorette roster seems a bit small, kind of. I'm so sorry, Duke. Your harem Limited you options know. in your harem. I want, all, I want more options. Come on. Who doesn't like options? I want to admit it. Mm, no, I like being hand fed my choices in life. <laughs> <laughs> Although the characters are interesting though, like that one marionette person, like the one that has a puppet, and uh, come on, the typical female knight, right, Brian? Of course. The saber character. Uh, well, there's that one Heroes game, Heroes 101 Heroes or something like that. Uh, Wonderful 101. Wonderful 101. That one's interesting. It has like Pikmin ish style yeah. play, and you have like a whole bunch of heroes. We're, we're all gonna. We're all going to start our playthroughs for uh, Super Luigi U, right? Yeah, of course. That's coming out at 30. That's well, pretty good. That, that is pretty good. Yeah, oh. coming out at 30. That's not bad. Also, the case is green instead of blue. That's awesome. I don't know. Uh, I, I mean, I get it. <laughs> Dude, come on. It's Luigi, the year of Luigi, right? 
I still didn't beat Luigi's match on 3DS yet. You're ruining the year, Luigi. I'm so sorry. I'm the only one copy. I need to play Project X though, and it's just sitting unopened on my like desk. <laughs> you must. Yeah, yeah. I got my 3DS back from Schwanka. I should play it. What was he playing? I don't even know. Like he, he looked at he looked at my games and he was like, I guess I'll try some of these. Street Plaza. Yeah, he played Street Plaza the whole so thing. Fight me. That. I think he was just playing theater of them. Because uh, he didn't want to play the Adventure Time game. He hates Adventure Time. Why? Well, too, too bad. No, I don't know anything about it. Uh, it's a weird show. It I'll be weird. honest. I really weird. like it. It'd, it's, probably, it'd probably be better if I did drugs. It's, it's better I still than, like it. I'm pretty sure that's what most people do. Yeah, yeah Schwagin said like one of his friends does drugs and watches it. That's, that's uh, well, probably not uncommon. I, I don't know. That's how I feel about a lot of Cartoon Network shows lately, like regular show and that. Gosh, I uh, dude, understand. Last night, uh, I had handed the phone to my sister, and I walk in, and she was watching this thing that really popular on Tumblr. It's called Gravity Falls. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the, the Disney that. one. All that I see when I go in there is there's this old man holding a pig. A ter- pterodactyl comes in, grabs the pig. Old man rips off his shirt, gets really buff, and punches it in the face. He's... I, I, I was all sorts of confused. Yeah, it's really confusing. It's like, I'm pretty sure I would understand if I watched the show, but I didn't. So out of context, oh. that's just very weird to me. Apparently it's about like par- like the kids like and their grandpa handling paranormal stuff, I guess. Paranormal. It doesn't sound like something I wouldn't watch. Sounds very odd. I mean, Cause it I, is- I, I like shows with paranormal stuff. Because then the only episode I watched so far was where they went to this haunted, like, 7-Eleven. Of course. And then, like, the it's talked about these ghosts, the owners who, like, hated teenagers or something like that. And then a group like of teenagers... Like all 7-Eleven owners? Yeah. And then a group of, like, teenagers mm-hmm. broke it, like broke in to check it out, and then they started messing with those teenagers. Honestly, though, I would understand why, like, the 7-Eleven by where we live would hate teenagers, because people probably just steal stuff all the time. Or well, they only allow, like, two people at a time. And that way they can only get robbed by two people at a time. Yeah. And I like 7-Eleven. By the way, remember to use those uh, coupons I gave you for the This summer, of course, I'm going to use the Slurpee coupons. And if you need more, my, my sister has like 10 more. It's okay, we got we got some too. I don't know how she gets home from it. I think she has like a booklet. Okay. So back on track, anything else about video games you want to talk about? I think that's you're dying to say. Dying to discuss. The world needs to know your opinion. Pokemon. Oh, right. Yeah, we'll oh, yeah. Oh, that's coming out. Yeah. Didn't know. Got to ride that go go. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's go over a few things. Number one. Fairy type? Sure, fairy type. They haven't released all of its functions, being like resisted and super effective. It's just a dragon check at this point. How do you feel that's going to affect the metagame? I mean, there are quite a few uh, broken dragons, you know, so. It's like every team has a dragon. Yeah. Much. Mm-hmm. So the only thing that resisted it was steel, and steel can't fight back. Exactly. Yeah. Who's waiting for that steel fairy type that comes out and just. Uh, oh, Jirashi, right? Yeah. The, oh, I, don't, I don't know. If they, would they replace Psychic with Fairy? I, I would have asked them. I think they would, honestly. Like, that like Jirachi wasn't used enough as it is. Dude, it's gonna kill everybody. <laughs> They're gonna ban it. Go on, get, give Blissey Fairy type oh, God. <laughs> and switch it in on every special dragon. <laughs> Game over. Oh, that Draco Meteor really hurt Will. Pressing Draco Meteor is just like a waste of PP. Yeah. Don't even run Protect on Blissey anymore. It's like you attack just to lower your own special attack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You just stab yourself in the foot too much. Shoot yourself yeah. in the I do like I like Gardevoir getting it because Gardevoir needs more play. Yeah. I really like the whole Ralts line. It's nice. Mm-hmm. Like that new one that branched out the f- Gallade. Yeah, Gallade. That like one's it. pretty cool. People don't use Gallade enough, man. It's don't. pretty good. It has a lot of potential. Aside from that, um the the style of Pokemon that were released is interesting. I'm not too thrilled by like the butterfly bug type. But, you know, that's just the thing you get in the beginning. It's tradition. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it has to be. I like what they're doing with what is supposedly the starting bird. Mm-hmm. Evolving into Talonflame, the fi- fire flying thing. That's pretty cool. That, that is pretty sweet. Oh, it's, the Brave Bird animation is so sweet. Oh, yeah, dude. I love the three animations. Uh, more fire hypes. Lit Leo. Like I said, I, there's no way that I'll be satisfied unless it's evolution is a lion with a mane of fire. <laughs> it has to be. It has to. I mean, it wouldn't make sense if it wasn't, wasn't, right? I don't like the, I don't like the fairy type they put out, Flabibi, whatever. Yeah, the that, thing that's on the flower is yeah. not like exciting to me at all. Uh, I don't know. Cookies We got two water types, Skrelp, I love that uh, rotting kelp Pokemon. Oh, how do you feel about that uh, lobster? That? I was just getting to it. Clauncher? Clauncher. So that's best new Pokemon, right? I, I, I like it the best. I like the aesthetics. It looks pretty cool. But then again, like... Kingler and Crawdon to pretty high on my list of favorite Pokemon. 
Those are also pretty mm-hmm. bad. I don't know. What were they right now? Are they? Are they? Pretty sure they're pretty bad. Yeah, they're like uh, UU, right? Less than that? What? NU? NU? Kingler's NU. Uh, I don't know if Crawdon's are you or NU. Because it might be Dragon Dance. Because I know it's not UU. Yeah, uh, the other Pokemon that were announced, you know, big deal, really. Daniel, are you going to get the game? Maybe. Maybe. When was the last time you bought a Pokemon game? Uh, when did Ruby come out? Long ass time ago. No. Oh Still my favorite Pokemon game. Like, it's the main Pokemon game. Yeah, I remember. I think I bought mine at Costco. <laughs> All right. Hey, Costco used to sell games. Oh. Yeah, they did. They all they always sold bundles and stuff. Yeah, I got Mario Sunshine from there for a really cheap deal. How do you feel about the new battle types, Sky Battle and Horde Battles? Mm-hmm. Intriguing, but it's not going to be like the main flavor for for me. I don't know how you would trigger a Sky Battle. Oh, uh, people challenge you to a Sky Battle. Oh, yeah. What if you don't have something that flies? It sucks for you. <laughs> they they'll challenge you. you. They, they, they just take your money. Yeah. You lost. <laughs> Or yeah. Sky Battle? Oh, you can't go. Yeah, I'm not sure how that works. Maybe they, maybe there's people that challenge you and you have to say no if you don't have a Levitator or a Flying type. I'm worried about Horde Mode because the encounter rates in Pokemon suck as it is. Yeah. And if you're fighting up to five Pokemon, and imagine your Pokemon only has single target attacks, Dude, even if you're, po- you're like 20 levels higher, it'll be annoying and a waste of PP to handle them. Dude, your Pokemon's going to get beat down. If Horde Battles are random encounters, I'm not going to like it. I just won't. Yeah. Just run away. Yeah, it's, it's just it's run from of Tauros. How do you guys feel about the like character customization? Do you think it's, it's well, good? Good, yeah. Mm-hmm. I like not having to look like the character they give me. Yeah, I don't, uh, but I don't like the I the guess, palette, the main design, the, the you, thing that you the the starting, the base design. Yeah, pretty oh. much. How come? I don't know. I I like the old like previous designs better. This probably might be my least favorite so uh-huh. far. If you look at like the friends thing that they released, it looks like you have quite a bit of liberty with your uh, aesthetics. You're like you can do yeah. hairstyle to an extent, hair color, skin color, uh, accessories. Gotta like, give my guy some style and shades. Yeah. What I'm most excited about that image is the fact that maybe we'll be able to get rid of friend codes and just have people load it in. I have a major problem with the friend code system. It's the numbers are long. And it just, it feels weird to me that Nintendo's still using something like that when there's obviously better things out there like what Sony does and what Microsoft does in that department. I mean, I just I just look at this as a way out. Even if it's like you have to use the friend code once in order to get them on your friends list, it just, it seems better. At least they're trying to do something different. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I hope they do it like the way where it's just like, you know, 3DS system. Just, you know, be able to sense each other through like a wireless connection and just friend each other from that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'll be way more convenient. All right. Uh, now on to actual Pokemon. Pokemon that deserves an evolution. Mm. Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime. <laughs> Dr. Mime. <laughs> Mime Senior. Yeah, Mime oh. Junior, bro. Yeah. Name. Um. No, too, too straightforward. Yeah, it needs 10 years in med school. <laughs> yeah, at least two. Oh, uh, Dunsparce would be cool, because that means Dunsparce. I love Dunsparce. Stealing my stuff, dude. You can say mm-hmm. Heracross, right? I, I'd rather have, I'd rather Pinsir get an evolution than Heracross if we're talking bugs. Yeah, Pinsir is worse like I mean, there's always things like Shuckle could get an evolution. Oh yeah, things like that. Oh, yeah, Skarmory you could use an evolution. All right, yeah. I, I totally forget. About Skarmory. I always forget that it's only one thing because it's so good. I know. Yeah. It, it it even it looks like it evolved from something. It's too boss. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a wheezing evolution. <laughs> Choking. <laughs> By the way, Brian Castro, Dying. dude, yeah. Brian Castro was so befuddled when I told him that coughing and uh, wheezing were your or one of your favorite Pokemon. Wheezing. Uh, oh, all right. Anyone got? All right. Do you have a top ten list, guys? Pokemon or Pokemon? Top top Pokemon. I have like an arbitrary list. I just put Pokemon I liked on it. It's called it my top ten. All right. I still need let's let's go. Do you have it ranked? Yes. Ten to one. All right, Duke. Do you have anything? No. Nah, well, all right. We're gonna do this. We're gonna go top to bottom, real quick, just naming stuff. You can just name 10 random Pokemon you really like. Okay. You can if you want to, Dan. You want to get in on this? No, All right. thanks. Well, we'll bring you back in next conversation. All right. So, at number 10, I have Zatu. Squirtle. Random Pokemon um, I like, dude. Random Pokemon I like. Excel Gore. All right. At number 9, I have Donphan. Golurk. Duke. <laughs> Porygon Z. All right. At eight, I, 8, I have Torkoal. Sharpedo. All right. Ninjask. All right. 7, I have Crocodile. Uh, Registeel. <laughs> Axorus. Alright. Six. Swampert. Breloom. 
Blaziken. Five, Weezing. Furret. Blastoise. Four, Wobbuffet. Rotom. Garchomp. Is that a specific Rotom or the whole family? Uh, I guess. Just whole family. Okay. Cheating. Sure. Cheating. Uh, I have three. I have Dunsparce. Shedinja. Um, Umbreon. Two, I have Kingler. Skarmory. Mm. Espeon. <laughs> and at one, I have Toxicrobe. Flygon. Oh, my number one? Yeah. If you had to say favorite Pokemon, what is it? My absolute favorite Pokemon? Yes. Just mm. do the random favorite Pokemon. You can just do random. I don't care. There's a lot of Pokemon. Uh, hmm. Let me just think. God. I don't have an absolute favorite. Liar. Let's pick another favorite. Yeah, you, you picked like nine. What's stopping from picking a tenth? It doesn't have to be one worthy, just name Pokemon you like. Oh, the anticipation. Mm, I have no idea. Can I choose like a legendary? Legendaries are cool. That's a Pokemon. Okay, then I'm gonna freaking choose Lugia. Alright, Lugia, he likes hand wings. I like hand wings. <laughs> Alright, what? <laughs> Did you seen it? Alright, last thing on Pokemon. Dual type you really want to see next gen. Water fire? Water fire. I want to see Steel and Ghost. Poison and Dragon. A lot, lot of good things. A lot all of right. weird things. Hey, well, all right, Pokemon concept that would go with your like dual type. Some steam thing, probably. Steam. Fire is the only thing not paired with water, mm -hmm. so. Dude. Um, I mean, I can totally see it happening. Like, maybe like an animated uh, suit of armor, you know, those possessing it. Yeah. That'd be so cool. I mean, if you do Poison Dragon, you kind of have to do like a serpent thing. Like, maybe something like the Mayan God snakes. Or yeah, whatever. I can see it, like the winged one, right? Yeah. All of the space in the France, so I could do Mayan God snake thing. <laughs> of course. Uh, yeah, but that's basically it. Uh, so that's the last thing on Pokemon. Any last things that you have to get out about video games right now? Mm, save it for next time. Save it for next time. Alright, can't talk forever. Uh, Alright, next. Going to anime. anime. This anime season is basically over. There's just a few things ending a little bit after this. We couldn't wait till uh, Sunday and everything. So, got some questions regarding uh, the anime. First off, favorite anime series this season? Go. Hataraku. The ones that are just ending. The ones that are just ending, yes. So, mm -hmm. things like Shingeki and Mushibugyo that are ongoing, don't count. No count. It's either between Hanaraku or Suisei. Okay. Hanaraku. Alright. And I would say Suisei. So, we basically all like the same things. Pretty much. Except yeah, Daniel's yeah. not watching Suisei. Yeah. Okay. Alright, next. Most disappointing anime you watched? <sighs> Duke. We'll say, I'm going same order for everything. Um, Put the pressure on Duke first. Yeah, why do you need to taunt it on me? Just uh, this, this is hazing. Yeah, this is hazing, dude. It continues. Yeah. I'll just say, hmm, Orino Emoto, just because I'm not a big fan of, yeah. <laughs> 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 <It's like shooting. laughs> yeah. I'll tell your sister she's safe. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Brian. Um, well, I watched like seven episodes of Photokana, which oh. I regret. Um, feel worry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Orino Emoto Season 2. Mm -hmm. Oh, before that, I'll answer uh, Downside Gunri no Prime Edge because I thought it was going to be about a murder game, but it was really about lollies and pornography. Horribly graphic, weird, oozy saliva pornography. So, yeah. And I guess I'm really disappointed because at the end, because I forced myself to watch the whole thing, they started introducing a story that was actually legitimate and entertaining. But, you know, the you know, naked lollies is better, apparently. That sells. Okay. All right. Well, since both of you said or emo, Brian, you're covering it. Explain to me what you think. Um, yeah, well, the second season focuses a lot more on like the individual characters, whereas like the first season focused more on Kirino and her like struggle with her otaku side. Second season is like kind of harem-ish. Yeah, it's more romance based on Kiyosuke and the girls. And the fact of the matter is, I can see none of those. Uh, romance is going through, so that discouraged me a lot and really angers me. Not all working out ever. Yeah. ever. Yeah, like the one that had the most chance, they pretty much yeah, like said Kira, no. Yeah, Kirino and Aya say they should like shat on it. Like, no, none of that. Oh, yeah, I was pretty upset when that didn't work out. So and then Daniel, earlier you or, or yeah, technically earlier yeah, in the alternate dimension. Yeah, alternate dimension. Another where, our, where our recording didn't work. <laughs> uh, Don't say that. Another <laughs> world line where our recording didn't just yeah. You mentioned about like how 
like they just threw in characters kind of or fast well, like, cause, like characters. they really blew through some of the character arcs like with Kanako they only introduced her like two or three episodes yeah. ago and they're already like have her part of the harem yeah like she's like really rushed she's like, like She's like, uh, at the, she shows up at the party, like, trying to make him lunch. And then she's, like, competing with the other girls to make him lunch every day. Yeah. And it's just really out of place. And she, yeah, all the other ones have more precedence than her, and that's kind of weird. Another thing that disappointed me was Nami and Chikiwa. That, uh... Mermaids. It ended up being a half-length episode thing, so it's about 12 minutes per episode. And it's just, I hate the way that they draw their faces. It's, like, the weird head shape. And then it's just a bunch of, like, sex jokes of mermaids. I don't like that. And all these lovely shows you've been watching. <laughs> yeah, it ended today. I didn't watch the last episode yet. I gotta do that when I get home. Uh, anything else to disappoint you guys? Mm, I was sad that Ira wasn't a full length series. It was really good. Mm. Yeah, I felt that way with Senyu. I wish Devil Survivor was greater than 13 episodes, but it's okay for what it is. Alright, oh, on you that. thought it was gonna be shitty. I guess. I did, Chris. Come on. Alright, All right, so. We'll, we'll get to that when we talk about that. Stop jumping ahead. <laughs> yeah. It, Daniel, you're working off the alternate dimensions too much. Yeah. Right. This, is, All right, yeah. This, well, since we're talking about things we're disappointed in a technically good way, what's something that you either wish was longer or think would have been really good if they changed a little something? Devil Survivor, because then well, the direction they took is really good compared to how the game played out. Uh-huh. If they like had more character development, then that would have been perfect to me. Mm-hmm. Other people would be. Uh, Carnival ended, and it just had all these loose ends everywhere. So I really hope they have a second season because I really want, I need to know what happens to everything. He needs to. Know. All right. Yeah. Uh, Volcano. If it was less creepy, <laughs> that's what really kept me from watching it. Just because I can't. I can't stand the premise. It's about a whole bunch of. It's creeps about a guy with the, who joins a really shady club and just takes. Uh, creeps being creeps. Dude. Takes photos of girls. You can take pictures of girls with no repercussions whatsoever. Exactly. That's not creeps being creeps. It's a dream. <laughs> it's a dream of not many. My, not my dream. Not your dream. Bro, we'll call the cops. Help. Yeah. Help. They take you in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I really think if they decide to cut out, and I mean, there's this odd thing where people think that you have to have horror and sex like meet when you're making something like a movie, like it has to be together, and. I, I, I get that, but I think if they cut down the pornographic side of Don Sagunri and introduced the story earlier, it would have actually been very entertaining. That's why I'm really disappointed. What horror movie doesn't have a sex scene? Exactly. It's, uh, it's really bad. I don't know. Oh, the like Saw have sex scenes? I, I haven't watched Saw. They, I haven't they, watched the Saw movies. Do anything with those dismembered body parts? I hope not. I haven't watched it's torture porn, so that's bad enough. Yeah. yeah. It's just very weird. Paranormal activity. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't understand why there's this obsession with linking those two things. That's, I don't know. Standard hallmark. Favorite character from this anime season? Uh, Tsukiko Tsukakushi. I can't say that. Tsukakushi. Try to say that three times fast. From which anime? Uh, from Henneko. Henneko, alright. Brian? Uh, Misaka Imoto. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Which, which serial number? Yeah, 302, right? 10032 from the 10032. Yeah. That, that's the one that gets all the screen time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Being not dead and all. Yeah. Uh, Hinata Goko, which is uh, Kuroneko's younger sister. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, my my favorite Suzuno from Hadaraku. The Hammer. Yeah. Oh. That's the best. <laughs> the, the well, they, they, make a, they, will. they make a season two, and it's very close to life, and I'll be happy. I hope I'm happy. Big, big Hammer. Oh, you'll be very happy. I don't know. The other things I wanted, like, I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of good characters. Like, yeah, this is a really strong anime season. Yeah, it is. And a lot of stuff is either continue, like continuing right away, or like it's getting a second season. A lot of stuff was announced early. Like, Daily Life's getting a second season. Uh, it's probably next year. The, OV, the OVA comes out in December. December. Uh, Valvray, it gets an OVA in like a week yeah, or so. July. And then the second season comes out in October. That's really soon. I assume Dogside Burn Me No Crime Edge is getting a second season because they did that thing like Valvrave did where they showed clips from what would be a second season. Mushibugyo and uh, Shingeki no Kyojin are continuing, yeah. like right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Anything you guys watching that's definitely getting a second season? Mm, uh, I don't think so. Nothing that's been announced? Other than the ones you listed, no. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty successful season. I think it was also more balanced because a lot, a lot of times, you, like, Dung is my barometer, where I'm like, <laughs> all right, if he isn't watching anything, it's not a balanced season. Just because there has to be at least one or two things for people like him that just want that action series. 
and there's nothing wrong with other things, but there there are a lot of fans like him. So if you don't cater them, the it's not there's not really balance. Yeah, if you're not catering to like your five year old boys, <laughs> then oh you know. <laughs> Love you, Doug. He's not gonna be listening to this, is he? No, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think he has the patience. Probably not. Yeah, dude. Uh, Doug doesn't even have Doug doesn't have the patience to do anything. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I would say like the winter anime season. You just you are eating a slice of cheese. <laughs> what about like fancy cheese? You're eating a slice of American I, cheese. I didn't even know you got up. <laughs> Andrew ate all the crackers. I don't know. Like cheese is. Dude, you get I some sauce. My mom's from Wisconsin, like. I love how you're just holding a slice of cheese and just like munching it with some bread. Yeah. Dude, it's like <laughs> as you're eating all the. I'm saving that for my sandwiches. I'm wrapping a sandwich with that and cheese. <laughs> you have sausages. Dude, they're summer sausages, and they're not supposed to be sandwich based. Like, oh, no. oh, I'm sorry. Summer sausages can't be put in sandwiches. Dude, there's a picture <laughs> within a sandwich. That's a cracker. There's still That's cheese. There's cracker. still cheese with it. As far as I'm concerned, that. Translates to sandwich. God. Guys, I'm lazy. And I ate all my crackers. Alright, back to anime. Okay, like, I think the winter anime season really wasn't as balanced, nowhere near as balanced as this one, in terms of catering to a lot of different it was, people. It was really underwhelming. I'm pretty sure it, like, it goes in, like, every Cycle. other season. Yeah. But, I mean, this had, this had, I, I think this season had a lot for everyone, which is good. Yeah, probably spring and fall are probably the biggest seasons every year mm -hmm. so uh since i can't really say it's a tradition because we did it once but i assume that we're going to be doing a top 10 anime series from this season list coming up mm -hmm. and since we actually have time to prepare we're gonna try to include sequels if people like want to push for them so things that have finished this year or things that are going to finish this year that you see the potential in, pick some series, it doesn't have to be just one, that you would push to have put on the list right now, either based on potential or what you've already seen. Duke. For a top 10, I'd say i push... I don't need 10, at least one. <laughs> I mean, for the top 10, right? Yeah, if you, if you, if you, if you were going to push for something to be in the top 10. Nominate something. Uh, I You can nominate up to three things, between one and three. Uh, okay. I'd say Date Alive, uh, Haraku, and Heneko. Okay, Brian. Um, Zetsu and No Tempest, Railgun S, and you didn't say Robotics notes? Um, you don't think it's top ten worthy? We're counting, wait, we're counting a uh, whole year, right? Yes. Like, Ended I did this year, or he's going to end this it year. It was really good, but I wouldn't say it's top ten. Like, I gave the show, like, I think All seven man, or eight. You said he was going to push for it, right? <laughs> did right. I say it? Okay. Yeah, go for your third one. Um, uh, I want to say something that you guys probably won't say. What? Um, that's, a, that's the question. I don't know. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I don't know. Moggy. Moggy. Okay. Daniel. Um. It yeah. doesn't have to be three. One to three. At least one. I guess Shingeki no Kyojin. No, uh, go with the the mainstream. Go with the mainstream there. Um. I, I'd say Tomoko Market. I like Tomoko Market. Uh. That's for a third one. I can't really say, so just those are my two right now. Man, you just listed two things that I definitely don't want on the list. Geneva? <laughs> that was last year. That was last year. Oh, yeah. That was number one on the list. Duke! Duke, do you I not read the post I on the site that I you were writing for? I just became a member, like what? When were you our friend? How long have you known two, us? Two months ago. I was. <laughs> was it? Yeah. I joined two months ago? Or what? No. Yeah. You were around when we were making all our end of the year posts. Yeah, but I was like chilling in the corner playing a DS or something. You were listening to all our results from like the OP list and stuff. Things that I said, I think Sweet Saint No Gargantia has a chance. I'm hoping the last episode's good. Hoping. Hoping. I, I, ah, uh, so many death flags. <laughs> Dude, it's okay. He'll come back home to ask Amy to dance for him. <laughs> uh, oh man, there's that. Um, pending what happens in season two. I think I could push for Valve Rave. It, like, it it's, it started to get much better. Like, in the beginning, it was shaky because yeah. they would do this thing where they don't take themselves very seriously and they do stupid stuff. No, like, I was pleasantly surprised. After episode five, everything was cool. Episode like, five was my breaking point. It got point. really I just good. Stopped. Like, I think that uh, Super Lelouch vs. Space Hitler has really taken off. This is definitely a series that I could see moving forward because, luckily, second season is coming out in October, so we're going to get another taste of it. 
and it seems like things are really going to pick off there based on the previews and just the, Dude, the style of the anime is going. Can't spoil well, anybody. You're allowed. You're allowed to do that cliffhanger when your things coming out in October and it ends yeah. in June. It's like a um, <laughs> brief intermission, you know. Brief. That's a season. Yeah. I don't want to wait that long. Uh, okay. There's that. Those two things. And uh, let me think. If I had to do a third, so what across? Oh yeah, Sucker Rosso. Oh, no one likes that. Uh, it's not like we did a let or a let ship for that. No. Nah, um. Do I want to put Sucker Rosso there? Do I? Well, that's the do question. You? Yes. Do I? I didn't say because I thought one of you guys were gonna say. I it. forgot about it. You you're really banking on us to say it. Right. It's a bad move. <laughs> it's a bad move. move. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna look at the things that I covered before. That's not worthy. <laughs> You are not worthy. I guess I can put Sakurasu up there because we all did really enjoy it. After hearing all the things we list, we're only halfway through. I wanna, I wanna see how many of these hold up when we actually make the list. We, did we only list one sequel, Railgun S? Yes. Yes. Okay. Since we talked about that, what's something that's not top ten worthy, but you think is worth is worthy? Same thing, all coming out all year. Something that's people need to watch that maybe they haven't or aren't watching. Anything. I'll start off because you give you guys some time. Uh, I have mm. two things. Well, I'm no. I'm only say one thing because the other one I, I think Brian might say. If he doesn't, I'll bring it back. <laughs> but Mushi Bugyo is something that's out right now, and that's really good. It's uh, it's like I said, it's not top ten worthy, but it's a it's a fun watch. It's back in the Edo period, and giant bugs are attacking. I don't like spiders, I can't watch Yes. The, the first episode, he fights a bunch of gigantic spiders that are yep. trying to eat people. So there's reasons why certain people wouldn't watch it, and I understand that. But it's it's a very fun action anime to watch. Uh, Dung really likes it. I think not enough people are talking about it, because it's interesting, and there's there's an actual plot going on. It's not just, like, hack and slash. So uh, it's very entertaining, and I like it. Oh, wait. Speaking of uh, how uh, Duck Trio looks under, look at what, what this person thinks. What? Oh. Yeah, I've seen that before. I don't even think we talked about that in this timeline. Oh, sorry. I think well, we yeah, we, we, we s- did we skip that? Oh no, that was during Sky Battles. Yeah, I don't know. maybe. All right, but yeah. Brian, you've seen it, this right? Oh yeah. yeah. It's uh, okay. okay don't worry. All right, don't worry about it. So, Duke, I hope you were thinking about yeah, of underrated anime. Um. All right. So I said earlier that I wouldn't say that Watch Notes is a top ten because, like, I gave it a seven ish. Like, I wasn't happy with the ending too much because it was kind of rushed. But I say it's worth a watch. It's like everyone hyped it up and hoped that it would be equal to Stein's game, but that's not possible, really. But it was definitely better than Chaos Head for sure. All right, and for people that haven't watched Stein's game, Chaos Head, can you watch Robotics Nose independently without having seen anything else? Yeah, pretty much. There's only like one character shown from Stein's Gate, and you probably wouldn't really remember per se. Or I really noticed. Well, because she was such a minor character. In yeah, Science in the science game. game. So in the end, it's it's it can be a standalone. Right. Yeah. Brian. Uh, I don't know, Katoro san maybe, because it was actually pretty good, and no one really talks about it. Yeah. First it was episode. depressing. Like the first episode just punches you. I didn't cry. Yeah. Of course not. Okay. Uh, all right. You want to explain a little bit about it, Brian? Um, it's about uh, a psychic girl who has the power to read mind, but she can't control it, and that causes problems for her. Like, people pretty much consider her to be a freak. Freak! Even her parents. <laughs> Alright, Daniel? Um, right. what? I know. Yeah. That deserves a fist bump, I don't know. <laughs> I, I know you were no oh. one fist bumping over. <laughs> fist bumps all around. Okay. Yes. Um, I'm almost done with it, but, um, I'm actually surprised by Aku no Hana. Cause, uh, uh, when that first came out, that was like one of the most, uh, uh, controversial shows I've seen in a while. Uh, Just everyone's like bashing on the animation style. Everyone is boring. It was, but actually, after watching uh, a few episodes, it starts to get really interesting because it's kind of it's really tense. Because you're uh, the main girl, you're not really sure what she's gonna do next, and it kind of keeps you on edge along with the main character. And um, just seeing how all that plays out is uh, makes for good drama. I'm, I'm kind of. I was kind of interested in it because a lot of people said that it was like a heaven hell kind of deal with him. Like, he in the situations that the main character's thrown in, he couldn't be enjoying it, but it's also kind of messed up. 
It's well, yeah, it's, yeah, it's really psychological. Yeah, it's it's very psychological. Thing. Like that's why I was thinking about watching, but people are bashing it a lot. Yeah. No, but yeah, after, it, after, it takes a while to really kick in, but yeah. uh, it's actually really interesting. I'm actually surprised. So I'm actually glad I gave it a second chance. It's good. The thing I thought you were gonna say was maybe G.J. Wu. Uh, oh, yeah, I was, I was, it was between those two. Yeah, cause like obviously I don't think it's top ten worthy, but it was a really fun watch. The hair brushing. Like that was my, for the, the, the last season. That was my. All right, let's not pay too much attention. Just enjoy something. Easy watch. Yeah, like uh, it was. It was a good thing, and it came out in the middle of the week, which is great. I think uh, it's base. It's slice of life. People in the club just doing random stuff. It's it's a, it's a fun watch. It's like a lot of other anime. But this is more entertaining than a lot of other stuff. I think uh, there's that. Maybe also uh, Mondaiji. Monda- oh yeah, I wish that would get a second season. That one had a lot of yeah. potential. It's like, it's like if Dog Days and Zero Sakaima didn't completely suck. Like, yeah. I don't think Zero Sakaima completely sucked. I think it dropped off when they decided to stop talking about the actual story and got more into, hey, here's all these girls with giant breasts that like him. And then there's the person voiced by Riku Gamiya. So I, I don't know that that was that and I, I can't sit through dog days, but yeah this is this is actually good like there's a solid story people there's some good action there's mild levels of romance it's it's a it's a nice watch yeah I would say it's if you had to consider it maybe like a B rate anime right now and uh, I think I think it's good a little I only say underrated because I mean I know people that watched it but people aren't like crazy about it you know what I mean anything else comes to mind before we get off this one topic. Not particular. Uh, not really. I pushed Devil Survivor 2 just because it was done by the same... Alright, in the outside time, I talked... The question was, um... Wait, I forgot, what was the question again? Like, uh, oh. favorite animation. Yeah. Right, that was the outside timeline where our freaking recording stuff, equipment didn't work. Mm-hmm. Um, I pushed Devil Survivor 2 because, honestly, Persona 4, the animation, I didn't like it. It was hard to watch. And I think most of us watched it, yeah. Oh, us yeah. too. Yeah, us too. And I watched well, some episodes. We were the watch. I watched all the clips. Yeah, and then we had, let's be honest, guys, it was kind of disappointing. Yeah, the yeah, animation was disappointing. Yeah, and Devil's Rider Two. I was like, oh yeah, this is probably gonna suck. But it was actually really nice, and I liked the how much effort they put into showing the animations of summoning the, the demons and later on fusing demons. That's just awesome. All the lights, all the pretty lights. On that note, since Duke brought it up. Let's include the alternate timeline. No, let's include <laughs> what happened in the alternate timeline. Let's include things that just have ended this year. That's what things we're still on. Favorite animation. Dude, I already said Devil's Survivor too. Like, why? Things that have just ended. Things that have ended this season. I just said why. Because it didn't this. completely suck like wait, wait. Persona Four. So including winter, things that have ended this year or are going to end this year. Oh, okay. So. But, oh man, did we lose that shitty... That talk? No. Yeah, Duke, yeah, we created it! We created it! We created it! Alright, so, Duke, what, what is your favorite animation style from this year? Do I have to go word for word from last year? Not word... I don't think you're word, word for word. I right. made the hilarious. I'd say Devil Survivor 2 because it's not completely shitty. <laughs> uh, it lost its luster, I'm sorry. Yeah, you missed, you missed yeah. the conversation. Yeah, it was great. It was, yeah. I don't know if it was great, we were just very taken aback by the fact that you, you took... What is your favorite animation style as? Well, this wasn't shitty, so... <laughs> you know, it was, it was, I thought it was going to be shitty, Because, yeah, I thought it would be shitty like Persona 4. Like, I was like, oh, this is crap. I'm sorry. I'm disappointed. <laughs> but then, Double Survivor 4, I was like, oh, hey, they kick things up. Oh, man, look at that summoning demon. Wow, that looks cool. Not shitty. Not, not shitty. Not not shitty. See, now, shitty. now you're describing it properly. Before you just said it wasn't shitty. <laughs> oh, it's less hilarious. Brian. Next time. Um, probably Suisei. You have a real gun S. I really like real gun S's animation. Huge improvement over Index five years ago. Yes. True. Uh, Daniel? Uh, I like the animation in Shingeki no Kyojin. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, Daniel, about that. So, yes. one of my co workers from Kaiser, like, you know, like, one of the fly, like, not the crazy anime girl, the other. Sure, the other crazy anime girl. The other one. Alright. All right. Um, she said that she didn't really like the Shingeki art because of the really, really heavy outlining. Because they got really thick black outlines. Yeah, like, I mean, like, it's very true to the manga. I really like it personally, but how do you feel about that? No, I really like it because, uh, it's... That's why I like it because it sets, uh, it's a different style uh, from other shows because it's very stylized. Like, it really looks like uh, a comic book, like, being... It's, it's, unique. it's unique. Yeah, that's why I really like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It doesn't bother me at all. Those yeah. thick I wonder if, like, I mean, it's mainstream, so 
or I'd say it's now mainstream, like middle schoolers are even watching it. So I don't think they really have a problem with the outlines per se. Mm -hmm. But some people do, I and mean, I can understand, because like, it's well, different. People have watched Naruto, and that animation makes me want to throw up. Oh, yeah, you're right. I don't know. Call it animation? No. Yeah. Um, my favorite is uh, Kakumanki Valvrave, and it's not just the animation, which is beautiful. Sunrise is doing it, so you know it's going to look nice. But it's like the character designs and stuff, especially for the mechs, it just looks really good. Dude, yeah. even the grunt mechs look pretty cool. Yeah, and it's hard to make the this, the red shirts of the mech world look nice, but they did. Dude, the shields, it's like pretty genius like, mm -hmm. in terms of design. Yeah, like even the bad guys look good. Like in a lot of Gundam series, like people, not a lot of people like Zaku's. And Zaku's like, are awesome. Yeah, like we like Zaku's, but like a lot of people don't. Like they, they made some quality like enemy designs in this one. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Anything else you like? You want anything else you guys want to know about this? Uh, the stuff that's already out. Like, man, I want to know what our favorite blank is. Favorite OP. Favorite OP. Ooh. 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 All right, I already have mine. So, just song and everything together. Sega. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to have sex with the bees and the eagles. <laughs> okay. So, who's who's not saying Shingeki? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm not either. But yeah, who's all right? Who's gonna say Shingeki? Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be the one who says because it's stuck in my head thanks to Brian. Says something right. else. Fine. Devil Survivor Two was interesting, although it didn't fit. I like, like the ending more though. Yeah, the ending fit the whole overall, but yeah, that admit the, the opening is pretty interesting. Like. It does. It doesn't feel, but it's like nice. Like you hear, like maybe in a club or something. I guess. Yeah. Right. Um, I really like Carnival's op opening a lot. It's really cool. Is it just? Are we just talking about openings or openings? Just openings. Oh. Hmm. I was gonna say an ending. Uh. No, I like that. I was gonna say uh, Shingeki no Kyojin. Okay, you can say that. Um. Yeah, I'll change my answer to Devil Survivor or uh, Railgun S. Oh, yeah, Sister's Noise. God, I was gonna see Railgun S. Okay, well, well, I really that. like Sister's I'll Noise. I'll say Devil Survivor and, you know, we'll take that. I mean, we don't have to, like, you know, be. We don't have to be different one, if, yeah. we, if we. I mean, we can do things. We can. But yeah, uh, I think Railgun S did a really good job. The music in Railgun is better than the music in Index. Yeah, Index is weird. Well, it's not like Index is bad, it's no. kind of hit or miss. What about favorite uh, ending? Um, Dang it, I'd also say Devil Survivor 2 because it fits more. Like Brian said earlier. That's the only one I can think of. I don't know anything. Oh, I forgot to say Iroh opening. Oh, oh, the ending for uh, oh. that Panic was not too bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like it's happy. Yeah. I, I like the sweet say ending. The, yeah. Dude. The Shingeki no Kyojin ending is pretty good, too. I, I rarely listen to that one. It's just because the OP is just so overwhelming. <laughs> Gega! Sega. I'm gonna be doing that like randomly throughout the Great. podcast. That, that should just be our long. opening. He randomly does that in life. <laughs> Okay, uh, so yeah, probably uh, Sweet Safe for me. Uh, uh, Anything else? Other questions, guys? No. Before we move on? Are we moving on to like next next season? That, that, that was the plan. I'm driving this car, dude. <laughs> did we talk about that? I don't when we talked about that. Talk about we even what? did about next what? season. We, we haven't yet. I don't think so. Alright, so, uh, so, so let's move on. Thing you are, anime you are most looking forward to next season? Danganronpa, just because I played it until 5 in the morning yesterday. <laughs> Freak. Right. Uh, World Golly knows three. Okay. Oh, I'm looking for two. Monogatari season two. Mm -hmm. That's still retarded. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, just the naming. The, the way they're naming. Oh yeah. Um, no, I like Monogatari. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But the, I'm not saying it's serious. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now I'm really looking forward to uh, Chojigen game Neptune the animation because I bought the game to play alongside. Oh no. Like the the story in the game and the anime, it's not the same, but it's like based on the same universe, same characters. And I, I was really surprised to find out that all three games got translated and brought over here. Mm -hmm. Like, that, that's odd. Oh man, all your monies. Uh, well, I only bought one of them, so yeah. I'm going to be playing Four alongside. Now. I know, like, a lot of people are excited about it, but I don't have a lot of things on my list. Like, I'm really excited for next season. It's just, it doesn't have a lot that screams, like, speaks to me. You know what I mean? It doesn't speak soul. to me. Like, this is just something fun. Like, I know we're all going to watch free, just because yeah. it's free. Just because. Um, <laughs> Otherwise known as a swimming anime. A swimming anime. There may be one or two other, two other things I'm looking forward to, but not really. Since you guys are more excited about the season, why don't you start talking about other things like, man, I gotta watch that. Like so, other, other shows? Other shows. Just start naming things. Mm. Oh, Kimi no Hiromachi, I'm interested in seeing. I was about to say that. Just because I read, I'm currently still reading the manga. Mm -hmm. It's getting better now, because then he finally stuff stuff. Okay. Right. 
Mm, Fantasy Sto Dolls, um, C3 Boo. Um, what else? It's just off the top of my head. Is C3 Boo yeah. the one with the Airsoft Gun Club thing? Yes. Okay. Um, and Canon OVA that oh, yeah. hasn't been translated well, yet. Two weeks. Came out two weeks Send you season two's coming out. All right. Yeah, I watched that. Send you. Gotta send you. Uh, Daniel? Um, it's off the top of my head. Uh, Gotcha Crowds. That one, like, the synopsis seems interesting, so I'm definitely going to watch that yeah, too. Yeah, that's why I was interested in it. Man, I, I was... You know when we were picking anime, I was so close to trading Danganronpa with you for that, but thank goodness I didn't. I like it. I like Danganronpa. I, I, I gladly trade. No, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so I just read up how to, uh, you know, capture uh, v- gameplay from the PSP. So I might be doing, you know, Let's Plays of, like, the English translation, which recently came out for the first Danganronpa. Danganronpa. Yeah, we're along with start doing that. Yeah. Along with uh, the anime. You know, the anime. That'll be cool. Oh, yeah, you do that and I'll play Hyperdimension Up to and you along with the anime. Yeah, we know how close is the story based on in the anime and the game like Oh Dog and Ropa? Yeah. Um, do you know if they're doing the same deal? Like apparently they're changing up the orders of deaths and I can that's gonna be really interesting because there are a lot of like deaths that I didn't want to happen in the game. <laughs> I'm not gonna say who. But uh, yeah, I think that'll be interesting. I know it's better than just like copy paste. So yeah, and there's a certain character I want to die. <laughs> yeah, you have issues with some people. I do. Some fictional people. Some fictional people. I don't know how healthy that is. Nah. Oh, I forgot. Rosie made in the reboot for that. It's been like so many years since they showed. Rosie is it a Maiden. reboot or a sequel? Or they say sequel, but some people think it's, it's reboot. confusing because yeah, it's, it's just like raisin, mo- uh, raisin, 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 <laughs> raisin, 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 Sorry, I think it's a sequel, but we'll see. Uh, it's been, I don't know how long it's been. Eight years, maybe. It's been a while. It's been a long time. So long time. that's gonna be intriguing. Sometimes, you, sometimes you have to wait for things. Yep. Like the last time I saw Rosen Maiden was. Middle school? Maybe. Uh, it originally came out in like 06, I think. Long time ago. Long time ago. 04. Don't worry. Yeah, 04. That was last time it aired. 04. Oh, I mean, there's the, the second, the second uh, season, the oh, comments. That, that was the first season. Huh? And then the second season was like 05, 06. Yeah, that's why I had to say like around eight years ago. Uh, don't worry. We'll be talking about this when they announce Harvey season 3 30 years from now. <laughs> I'm gonna be good at dead. <laughs> It's gonna it's gonna come out and uh, right after Chaos season three. I think that's more like yeah, that's more plausible. Uh, than Harley, like Chaos more popular. Right? I'm really I was really happy about the Harley movie. You know, like yeah, it's really nice. And I'm like, yeah. why don't they do more of that? I mean, yeah, sure, they got a whole bunch of bullcrap for you know Ellis A. Well, because but that Harley movie was a really important uh, story that they had. Yeah, to definitely. Do. And I would think that the popular movie would help it because. Like, the Index movie isn't even out yet, and, like, it, there's already enough hype saying that, like, Season 3 is supposed to come out next year, which would be really nice. Yeah, some people think the reason why there's no Season 3 for Harvey is because of uh, that scandal with Aya Hirano. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Replacer. <laughs> no, they can't do that. You know, you know how Japan works. They don't do that. Replacer. <laughs> Never disappear mysteriously. No, we're doing it for free. Well, if that's the thing holding back, Daniel, I'm very sorry. Uh, uh, you'll never see that yeah, animated. Never, ever. Uh, <laughs> you'll still have a light out. Don't worry. Maybe, maybe, the visual, uh, maybe there'll be more visual yeah. I don't know. On that, what other uh, season three is you waiting on? I'm really waiting on Index because I finished the next season two and like, I, I really enjoyed it. Season threes. The world God only knows. Well, it's coming, coming out. out. Yeah. Oh, shit. Well... Oh... Uh, still don't know how they're going to do like, the, the aim. Are that, you going to say K on, Bryce? Right? Other than that, and a proper Hayate no Gotoku season 3. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like a uh, legitimate manga based one? Yeah, like not like not Hayate not cuties or whatever. Not Hayate would change the animation and look stupid? <laughs> the hair. Daniel, besides Haruhi? Uh, well, they're making a season 3 for Monogatari, so I'm looking forward to that. Since they're planning on animating all the light novels. Oh, also working season 3 and oh, Yuri, yeah. Yeah. Yuri Yuri season 3 also. <laughs> oh, really? What? It's wrong. Ugh. No, I mean, are they really making a season no, three? No, that's what oh, I'm looking forward look, yeah, to. Yeah, that's why. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Uh, I keep forgetting that we're talking about what's going on. Oh, Boku Tomodachi gets to Kanai season three. That's going to happen, though. You know it's it better happen. It left it on a dumb note. I really want that. He would have said yes, just for the record. You don't know that. Kogi season three. <laughs> we don't need Kogi season three. It ended fine. 
Yeah. I've come to terms with that. I have come to terms with the fact that Lelouch, 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 Lelouch dying is good for the it's good for the story. Okay. Yeah, he's not that guy who's covered up with you know. He's not the guy that's uh with on, C2. like driving a carriage. Yeah. Even though it totally could be. No, you, you no. don't know. The creator said that he's dead. Let's do a Klingon season three. <laughs> after after story. After after. Story. Following the story of their children. They're all dead. Yeah, they're all dead. Good riddance. Enemy wise, anything else, guys? I think that's it. Yes. That's it. Like, all right, where are we gonna eat? Wait, are we recording this right now? We should. I don't care. Okay. Yeah, yeah, go. yeah, go. All right. Yeah, go. Oh, all right, sorry. All right, so we're we're done recording. Yeah. Yes. All right. We'll figure out where to eat after. It's time. All right. It's time to have sex with the bees in the evening. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'll tell you for a do 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 All right, you need to send me that so I can link it. The what? The what? The, the bees and the eagles thing. Oh, is that no. that you came up with? That was just a text thing. I don't know. Okay. It was on All right. Let's not credit anyone for it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> bye. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Later. Bye, bye.